All right, hey guys, we're going to do fire alarms and such, and this is wall test 29, stupid switch. I can't believe I didn't get this out on Thursday. I didn't even record it. This week slipped out from under me, and I woke up uh, yesterday morning, and I went, oh my gosh, I did not publish a wall test. And then Thursday came around, Thursday evening, and I was busy all evening, and I was like, huh, okay, I guess I'm doing this Friday. And so now it is Friday. Here's the wall test. I'm sorry. So wall test 29, I'm calling this stupid switch because I have my Edwards 270 SPO up and mine has a bad switch in it. It like, if you pull it, you gotta like jiggle it around a whole bunch and press in on it to actually get it to, to actuate the alarm. But I love my SPO. It's a cool alarm. And I wanna get different devices before I get a new one of these. Unless, you know, it comes in like a lot of stuff, then I'll be like, ooh, joy. But, yeah. I got FCI MS2. Honestly, I haven't seen this guy in a while. He's pretty cool. I like him. Same heat detector. Same smoke detector. We got my EST Genesis up here. And then my Wheelock AS. Yes, I know that there is tape on it, but I actually peeled it off about most of the way. So, it's actually pretty loud. I don't even know why it's still on there. Um, but, you know, why not? And then same test switch and, of course, same panel. So, let's pull the SPO. See, nothing happens until you, like, push in on it. What I forgot to mention is 15 candela and 15 candela. All right, let's pull the FCI MS2. Here we go. Alright, so everything is silenced, and this fell in, hold on, there we go, it's just easier to reset when it's like that. You will start off with the Edwards, put the screwdriver in and turn, opens up, switch down, and close it, put the screwdriver back. Up there, FCI key. I love how this resets. Because if it does that thing where it folds in, you can't just go. You have to actually open it. And but I love, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it again, just cause it's cool. I love that um, you just turn the key and do that. And yes, you are actually supposed to do that. It did say, oh, forgot the nut in here. It does say in the instructions to just open up cover and close cover again to turn off the switch. Because I've seen some videos where people are like, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. And then I read the directions and it said, that's how you reset it. And I was like, all right, I'll reset from the key switch. All right. Panel is now resetting here. Uh, we have a lot of dogs upstairs if you can hear them. Do, 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 do. System normal. Let's put a supervisory in the panel. Let's do a NAC test. Here we go. And then turning it back to normal puts the panel back into system normal. Now you know it's not normal. It's this obese cat on the ground. Look at that. Look at that. She's adorable. She's my baby. I love her to death. All right. Let's tool test 
the Edwards here. So this would be like if you have a brake rod in it, you open it up, falls to the ground, and you turn on the switch. Now see it didn't do it, but if I push in, it's just got a, it's just got a bad switch in it, that's all. And then let's actually tool test the I3. External silence. And then we will reset. Well, actually, you know what? I'm just going to do this. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a wonderful day. Oh my gosh, I did a video on this glitch. How could I not remember it? I did a video on this. I'm not smart sometimes. I'm really not. I may look like I know what I'm doing. I guess sometimes I'm not. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.